Clements Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. It's, uh, it's getting a little cooler here in the evening. I bet we got rain on the way. Uh, but I've got a beer. I, I actually bought a six pack. That tells you something, right? And I've, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, haven't had it for a week though. I took a little break and then thought I'd come back and do a review because it's just that good. Here it is. It is the Suicide Squeeze. That's from Fort George. Not the first time this one's come around. This is a beauty. This is 7.2% ABV. Got a nice snake artwork provided by a Grammy Award winner. That's right, for cover art. And uh, this is a, a collaboration that they do periodically with uh, Suicide Squeeze Records. That's right. And they came up with a doozy this time. This one has a mosaic, amarillo, and citra for the hops. The, the uh, malts in it are two row Pilsner, Crystal 15, Flaked Corn, and Aromatic, and they used London ESB for the yeast. And I really enjoyed it. So we're going to go crack into this and we'll give it a good review. When I say good review, I mean a thorough review, but I know it's going to be good because I have had this once before. All right, we are all in. Take a look at that. So it's a, a little bit of a haze, light haze on that, you can see. It's got a nice little head on there. On my side, I can see bubbles rising up. It's a nice burnt orange color. I really like that color for a, an IPA. And it's really pushing close to that double IPA at 7.2. Let's get the nose on this. Yeah, okay, I gotta sit back. It just has a nice aroma coming off of it. It really is good. All right, I had to really breathe that in nice and deep. What I'm pulling off in fruits right away is a, a, a nice grapefruit. It's kind of a pithy grapefruit. I wouldn't say grapefruit rind. It really is the pithy. You know, you're getting some of the white part of it, etc. Like you ground that grapefruit, you know, squeeze that sucker. And that's what they're calling it. In addition to that, uh, uh, I'm getting some other uh, qualities. I get a little bit of, well, not a little bit, a good bit of like some pine and resin quality and a light bit of dankness as well. On the nose, it's it's kind of hard. You're, you're pulling off uh, more than just the grapefruit. So I would say you get a light lemon, a light orange coming off of it. I'm also getting a, a little bit of a mango type quality as well, but I think that there's more fruit on this uh, than just those. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in and get a taste. Cheers. Wow, all right, that's tasty. And you know, I lost a little bit with waiting a week to review it again. It was even more in my face before, but what I like about this beer is it's very well balanced, though it is, I will say, hop forward. Uh, I like that. And I'll go ahead and describe some of the, the other qualities since I'm at the end of the beer. What I like is it's a medium dry at the end, so it dries out, but not fully. So it leaves you ready a little bit for the next taste, but it's also semi-crisp, so a fun combination. I would also say it's kind of mouth-watering. I mean, it, it does cause me to salivate. It really prepares me for the next drink, and I, it's making me thirsty. And it's a really clean taste, too. It really is. Um, there aren't muddled flavors on this like you often get in many beers. Yeah, it's really strong on the front part of it. Uh, very forward on the hop aspect. You're definitely getting the, the pine. I'm leaning more towards the resin than the pine. And then the dank quality kind of pulls in along with the bitterness. But that bitterness is also it's a it's a mix it's more resin I would say in the taste the uh, the grapefruit is still there but it gives way to a lot of other flavors so I get a little bit of some orange quality to it maybe just a hint of the lemon but I'm pulling in a lot of tropical qualities as well it's really interesting the flavors that come as it it's rolling around in there uh, I just got a little bit of a melon quality which is pushing hard to pull that through past everything else but clear enough it was there a little bit of the mango type quality as well and even a light hint of stone fruit <laughs> the, 
this leaning more to the peach as opposed to the apricot but it's in there the melon and the the peach are lighter on that end uh, really the the resin quality is is a lot as well as the, uh, the the mango coming in and then the the citrus those two the they're they're pretty well balanced out uh, but I think that those resin qualities rise up pretty high in the midst, midst of all of this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a little break and I'll come back. All right, I'll be honest. Had I reviewed this a week ago, I'd probably get slightly higher ratings. It has toned down just a little bit. And those of you that have got those fresh, fresh releases, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it's still just a delicious beer. I think one other flavor I picked up is just the mildest tint of like a pineapple quality. But... Outside of that, that's pretty much all of it, everything that I named. But I like that it is pretty well balanced. You have to enjoy that uh, the bitterness is definitely that, that uh, pine and resin type quality. It's just a light bit of dankness. And I personally like beers that dry out on that backside. So that medium dry quality is just a nice balance to the beer. So how am I going to rate this? It's an IPA. I honestly really would have ranked it higher last week, but I got to go with what I've got in front of me right now. So as far as IPAs go, I mean, it's got some wonderful qualities. I'm not going to take anything from it. Ah, geez, that's hard. I want to rank this at a 93. I'm really digging on it. Overall, it's it's not complete with my wheelhouse. You know, my double IPAs would be the way I like to go, but overall, it's still a great beer. I'm going to give this and 91 overall. Here it is again. Hopefully I get this edited up quick enough so that you can go out and find some in your local store. It is Suicide Squeeze. That's right. Look for this on the label. It's from Fort George out of Astoria, Oregon. This is Kevin Clemson over saying life's too short to drink cheap beer and I'll see you in the next beer review.